Welcome to our Battlefield 1 Weapon Guides. In today's episode we take a look at the Selbstlader model 1916 or Mauser M1916. This translates to Self-Loader M1916. The name Mauser Selbstlader M1916 comes from its designer Paul Mauser. It's classed as a semi-automatic rifle and the weapon's manufacturer is Mauser, of course founded by the creator of the weapon. As the name suggests, it was designed in Germany in 1916. It fires the Mauser 7.92 by 57mm rounds. Since it's a semi-automatic rifle, it is a decently large weapon. From the butt of the gun to the tip of the barrel, it measures around 1150mm in length. For its size, it isn't that heavy, weighing only 4.90 kg. With the general information out of the way, let's take a more in-depth look at the statistics of the weapon. Because that's what we're all interested in, right? We'll start by taking a look at the damage output. It deals 40 damage within its maximum damage range, but this drops off to 35 after this range. This means you will kill an enemy within 3 shots, always. The damage is multiplied depending on the part of the body that's shot. The headshot multiplier is 1.7, the upper body multiplier is 1.0, and the lower body and limbs have a multiplier of 0.96. Its rate of fire is 224 rounds per minute, which is the slowest in class rate of fire. It has a muzzle velocity of 800 meters per second. The weapon deals its maximum damage until the range of 26.5 meters, and then it steadily decreases to its minimum damage until 51.5 meters. Due to the gravity, the bullet descends as it flies through the air, with a drop-off velocity of 12 meters per second. This is something to keep in mind when you engage enemies at longer distances with this weapon. Now let's take a look at the handling. This will mainly dictate how the weapon will feel. The vertical recoil is 1, and the horizontal recoil is for both left and right 0.3. Meaning that for every shot, the weapon will kick 1 degree up and randomly 0.2 degrees left and right. The recoil decrease is 6. The first shot doesn't kick extra since the first shot multiplier is 1. The aim down sight spread is 0.18 when you're standing still, but this goes up to 1.2 when you are moving. The hip fire spread is 2.5 when you're standing still and 4 when you're moving. So the spread increase per bullet is 0.25. This means it's always better to fire from cover than from when you are moving. Whether it be hip fire or aiming down the sights. It has a magazine capacity of 26 rounds, which is by far the best in the class. The reload is also more effective since it reloads a full magazine in at once, instead of single bullets or clips of 5 rounds. The reload takes roughly 3500 milliseconds when the magazine is completely empty. The full reload will take 2370 milliseconds. This means that the full reload is always faster than the empty reload, which is an advantage when comparing it to the weapons in its class. Every weapon has multiple variants. The Selbstlader M1916 has three. The Selbstlader M1916 Factory which is the variant we have been talking about so far. The factory variants recover faster from recoil and regain accuracy quicker. The second variant is the Selbstlader M1916 Optical, so short range magnification scope and better accuracy. And the third variant is the Selbstlader M1916 Marksman, which adds accuracy while stationary or moving and it adds a medium magnification scope. The recommended class for this weapon is of course the Medic class. For the primary weapon we recommend you select the Selbstlader M1916 Marksman with the bayonet attachment. The sidearm is the number 3 revolver to finish enemies off. The selected piece of equipment is the frag or the stick grenade. The gadgets we recommend are the medical crate and the syringe to heal and revive your allies. The strategy around this weapon in class is to be the combat medic and supporting your teammates. Spot the enemies, suppress them, heal your allies and revive them. 
We hope you now have an overview of the Selbstlade M1916. Thank you for watching. The sources that we've used are mentioned in the description. We would really appreciate it if you take the time to leave a rating. And if you want to see more related content, you can subscribe. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave those in the comment section down below. And have a nice day. Thank you.